Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very sorry for how long this one took to come out, but I do appreciate your patience and we now have a VPS training video. A uh, couple of housekeeping things to go over, so I do appreciate if you listen to the first little bit and then you can use the chapters below if you need to get anywhere. Uh, obviously, while I have your undivided attention, I do want to remind you to like and subscribe. A uh, big, big bonus there is it does bring attention to both Alchemy Trades and myself and helps grow the channel, so I do appreciate that very much. A uh, big thank you to Perkmaster who created the guide that's helped some people already set up their VPS and helped me get uh, my head straight around uh, Ubuntu and Linux because I haven't used those in a long time. Uh, there is a script that will run when installing on a, an Ubuntu server uh, that I also need to thank Surge for. Uh, the video was quite long and, uh, and dry by copying and pasting code in and trying to describe to you what the code was and all that stuff. Uh, so Surge has actually been able to make a script for us. You can go to his GitHub, which is also linked below if you need to um, take a look at it beforehand if you want to just make sure there's nothing malicious uh, but it was written by Serge and my and I was helping him kind of problem solve it or test it as we got it fixed up for you guys so hopefully that helps you out immensely uh, links below for all that stuff and last thing is I was able to get an affiliate link for Contebo so if you are using that for your VPS server uh, it's free for you to use my code it does give me a little bit tiny kit back so I do appreciate it if you were to use that for uh, the time other than that I think that is everything for now so let's get right to it so when you're ready to go uh, you do need a VPS service so you need to sign up get and this will start the process of getting your server all set up. So Cantabo was pretty well recommended from the website, from the, the community. So do have a look at that one. I, if there is some type of referral opportunity, I will uh, put it in the links. I haven't seen anything, but no big deal either way. If you have somebody else that's referring you off, or if you have any other solution that you would like to try, that is great. This one has been, like I said, tried, tested, and true by the community. You only need the $849 a month one, so that's what we'll be setting up. I won't go through that in the video unless I see some major complications that I think you should be aware of, uh, but I presume it's going to be a regular sign up email, password, credit card, all that kind of stuff. Um, but as I said, if there's anything that stands out, I will. Uh... Now, once I came back on, because this screen's obviously a little bit overwhelming, and I just want to go through this process to make sure it's as clear as possible for everyone involved. So the first thing you're going to do here, actually, is just under new orders, click VPS. That's all we need. You can ignore pretty much everything else here. If there's any other value to this stuff later on, I'll obviously show it to you. Uh, but for now, we click here. Opens up a new window where it shows you the amount. Right now, there's a little Black Friday thing. It's 10% off, so this is usually $8.99. Uh, you can take a look here. There is a way to switch between them, so you might be able to do some quote-unquote arbitrage because I think the if the pound is close to the US dollar, this may be a cheaper function. I'm just going to play it easy and not worry because your credit card or whatever would charge you an exchange fee but just a little thing to note if you wanted to nickel and dime it a bit you can uh, possibly save some money by changing the currency over to uh, to pounds but uh, I'm not going to do the calculation and waste time with that but you're very welcome to I'm all about saving a few bucks here and there so we're only going to need the smallest one for this one so we're just going to hit select on that one it'll open another or it'll send you off to here these options are all fairly straightforward. Um, if you choose one month, there is a one-time setup fee, which is the cost of the one month. If you'd like to save a few more bucks, then uh, you can obviously go over a longer period of time and that gets smaller and smaller. And if you go to a one-year one, it actually goes to zero. So you're paying uh, quite a bit or less as a total anyways. You're just literally paying that monthly times 12. Um, so I might do that one, but I'll take a peek. Uh, Europe, so if you want to pay zero, you're just basically hosting it in Europe if you'd like to have it a little closer to home or wherever else. The only other advantage, I think, to changing this, if you were dealing with something something that you needed a VPN for in order to make it look like you're doing stuff from another country, then maybe choosing a specific country would be handy for what you want to do. Uh, but for this, uh, I'm fine with Europe, so I'm going to keep it there, European Union. For this one, I'm going to try this out. We don't need very much... Uh, room on this one and this is supposedly five times faster than your ssd so it just could be give me better entry points uh if i'm trying to be quick on the on the ball with a trade that's going through the through the um the bot but i'm just picking that just in case 
The other thing here is this will default to this one. Uh, so if you did want to have the latest version, then you can move it to that. Uh, that's really the only thing you need to worry about here. Everything else you keep as is. You will need to generate a new password. Uh, you do want to make sure you save that somewhere. I have a little journal that goes into a safe that has a fireproof safe for all my crypto stuff. Uh, so same kind of thing might be bode well here. Everything else here is good. You can stick with the free option for all this stuff, all the bandwidth you'll ever need. And this stuff here, again, you don't need to worry about. So I just need to enter the password and then I'll move on to the next screen and come back to you if there's anything uh, that we need to look at in more detail. So once you hit next, it just gives you a little roundup of everything. I did decide just to go with the one year and um, at the 849 just to save that setup fee because no matter what, I think I'll use this for other things even if it's not for this, uh, whether it's for Discord bots or other stuff that I'm playing around with and learning. Um, so we're just gonna order and pay. And there we are. Um, so it looks like it takes a little bit of time for everything to get set up. Um, so the video may not come. Once you've gotten your email saying that you're all set up, it actually didn't take very long, uh, like 10, 20 minutes. Uh, I guess sometimes it can take up to three hours, but uh, it was pretty quick. You can come into your Contabo control panel as this one that we saw earlier that had where we clicked on our VPS. And you can see your services. You'll have your VPS set up right here and know you're good to go. Um, I will copy this right now, but I'm gonna show you something else before we go. So control C to copy that. And before we get into that, we're gonna go down to VPS control and a little something we're gonna turn off just because it's a little less secure. We're gonna go into manage and disable VNC. Uh, do you really wanna disable it? You will not be able to access VNC, via VNC anymore. Okay, so basically this is another way that you can get into your server, uh, but it's less secure. So just to avoid it, we're disabling it. And VSN has been disabled, perfect. So now that everything's installed, we're actually going to make one little change. And as you might have seen earlier in the video, I mentioned I had a little banner come up saying we actually used an older version of the software. So I obviously had already done the install, so I'm going to show you how to change that in case you needed to ever reinstall. But if you hit on VPS control, it'll bring you over to your server and give you some different options here. As we've already said, this should be disabled, which it is because it's asking you to enable it now. And you can also then reinstall. Uh, your operating system and at this point you would pick uh, 20.04 click that key in your password twice uh, and it's basically recreating a new password anyways but you can reuse the same one and then start installation it takes about five minutes or so and your installation is done I've already done this off camera but just wanted to show you how to do that at this point your server has been all installed and you're ready to go first thing we're gonna have to do is go down here and type CMD which is for command prompt Pull that up and you're going to see kind of a DOS structure there. From here, we're going to log in. So we're going to take SSH space root at, and then you're going to grab your IP address right from here. Just copy control C and paste control V. And there you go. Once you get in here, you're going to fingerprint it. This just makes it so that you can log in all the time without having to, uh, it ask to ask you every time. And then you're going to key in your password. So once you're at this point, I actually had a chat with uh, Serge and he actually was able to write up a script for us to make this a whole lot easier. So the, the guide and my video that I first started making basically was just copy, paste, copy, paste. Uh, and it was hard to go through all the details and actually explain exactly which commands you were putting in and all this stuff. So I actually have a, a script to run now, which will actually go through most of this process for you super quick. And it'll give you a couple of things that you're gonna need to do during the process. So when you copy things into the screen, you're gonna right click and that will copy whatever you've copied and pasted. So this will be in the notes. I'll also have a link to it to show you this, if anybody wants to actually look at the script just to make sure there's nothing malicious or whatever. As I said, this was actually done by Serge. So uh, I have utmost confidence. I have already tried it and then reinstalled everything just to show, to do it for you guys on the video. So we're gonna click enter. And the first thing we need to do uh, is to give the server a name as opposed to root. So we're gonna call it alchemy. That's just what was suggested and so we're good. Hit enter. Now, uh, using lowercase letters only, we're gonna name our user account. So rather than logging into the root directory all the time or Alchemy, we're gonna go a little bit deeper so that it's a little more secure and creates a few more walls for us kind of thing. And this is going to be your server name. Don't use any capitals and I'm just gonna do pocket aces. And there we go. Then you have to enter your password. So this is gonna be another password that you're entering in that you can use for specifically this server only and you're gonna to have to enter it in twice a second time for this stuff here you can just hit enter there's nothing you need to enter in here 
And is this information correct? Y for yes. And away you go. Now it's going to run through all the installs. So it's going to install uh, Brave for us. And with all the setups, it's going to install No Machine, which is basically the communicator where you can log in using a GUI interface and look at your server and interact with it. Uh, we're also going to have to install that program on our computer, uh, which will create the link between the two uh, to make things just a little bit more easier to navigate and to use once we get inside there. So I'll probably skip this part of the video. Uh, this is going to run for a, f for a few minutes, I presume. And once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll get back to it. All right, so once you see this configuration complete, it means that you're ready to go and it's going to be rebooting your computer. Uh, as soon as you log in next time, you're going to want to log in under Pocket Aces. And you're going to be using that new password we created. So uh, that's about it. So we hit Enter. And it just takes you back to there. So next step is we're going to install No Machine for your computer. So we'll head on over. All right, now that you've set up No Machine on your server, you do need the piece installed onto your PC. So downloads.nomachine.com. And here we're going to install. And obviously, depending on your operating system, you will download what you need. Right now, obviously, I'm on a Windows machine. And I'm on a 64-bit one. And so we download. Give that a second. Don't click on it prematurely. It's a pain in the butt sometimes. Even when this window's there, you gotta wait for that to go away. And so your usual next, accept the agreement. We'll just keep it there. Okay, so the install's done. We're just waiting a few seconds. All right, so your screen comes up saying complete the setup. So you hit finish. All right, so we might have to restart the computer. I guess just in case I will go ahead and do this. Sometimes I ignore it and just figure it'll all work out. Uh, so we'll be back. Now we booted up no machine after the install. We're going to hit add and we're going to make our own machine. So this one's going to be pocket and then we'll put in the host, which is your port there and click add. And now we're going to connect a couple of things that will come up right away and just kind of walking you through certain things, possibly not a bad idea to take a little read. And that's the whole fingerprint thing so that it knows that this computer's accessing it. And username, pocket, password, the same one that we had done before. So let's go yes, create a new display. And we'll just skip this stuff, but obviously if you want to take a peek, it just shows you some of the interactions that you have to do with it if you wanted. And there we are, user pocket connected. As you can see, the screen looks a little bit squeezed and a little bit big. Uh, so we're going to do a couple things kind of to fix that up. So let's update some settings here. Uh, so we're going to go into settings. So just that little arrow there is what I hit. And display resolution. I'm just going to go to the biggest guy. Hit apply. Keep changes and region. So we'll go down to region and settings as well. Oh, it looks like everything's good there. So sometimes it may be worth going in here and checking that make sure you're at the right keyboard and stuff like that just for your own personal things. Other than that, we can close this down and we're ready to go. So activities over here brings up some things. This little menu bar uh, will bring up applications and it'll use ones that you're using. This guy's your file manager, so we'll probably have to use that and Brave that we installed and possibly the archiver when we download um, Alchemy Trade. So we'll open up this guy first. If this screen comes up, just click confirm. And we'll set Brave as default. So in here, we're going to go to alchemytrades.com. And the menu over here will bring us to the downloads. In this case, we're doing Linux. So even if you were working on a regular system before, now we're downloading a Linux version. I'm just going to slide this over. So downloads. All right, so we'll just go ahead and save that. And I, you don't want to click on here. I think it causes some problems with this system just because Linux sometimes is funny. So we're going to click XFE and open up this guy here. Pocket and downloads. There we are. Alchemy Trades. So we're going to right click on that and extract here. Close. And there's your folder. 
and that guy. So what we're going to do is you click on these dots that brings you back. So this goes bad. This double click on it puts you into the directory. Back puts you back. Let's go ahead and change this name. And we'll just rename it Alchemy. All right, so what we're going to do here is copy the Alchemy folder. Actually, we'll just cut it because then we can move it over. And then just in the main pocket directory, we're going to paste that in there. Open pocket and accept. And there we are. Next, you're going to want to right click on here and go properties and then permissions. And we need these all to be executables. Accept. Okay. This is just to allow this to become an executable file. All right, so now we're going to need to run the bot. So a little different than usual as well. We're going to head over here, head over to these guys, and then we're going to run LXT terminal. And we're going to run a couple of commands again. So I believe if you do DIR, you'll see where you are. And yeah, that's what I thought. So we're sitting in the main directory, our home directory, our pocket one. So we're going to sit CD Alchemy. And then again, just to be sure, I'm going to hit DIR so you can see our, our Alchemy Trades folder is there. And that's the one thing I want. We'll move that over, sorry. So we're inside there and we can see our Alchemy Trades thing. So we're now going to need to execute it. So we're going to execute it by typing this command. Oops. Oh, I guess you can't do the paste. And hit enter. Enter our port. So we're going to do 5100. Enter. Testing. Okay, so now we've installed it into here. Oh, interesting. Although I got it. So I thought it was a problem because I got this error here, but it did do this. So I'm going to go ahead and try it here. So basically now to make sure it's working, you actually, it, it should be working in the background theoretically. So now what we do is to check if the bot is working, we type local host colon 5100. So this is basically just doing a ping on the little spot. There we are. Perfect. So basically when you ran this command, it started the bot in the background. So the black screen that you normally would have got up when you played the old version of the of it. And now we need to put our license in. All right, so I'm going to end this one here because uh, we already know how to set up our all Alchemy Trades. I'm going to be redoing a lot of those uh, install videos and tutorial videos on getting you guys up and going. Uh, now that this one's done, it's been kind of my white whale. It's been taking me a little while to get this one out and just to kind of navigate through Linux. I used to know Linux a long time ago, but uh, definitely out of it for now. Uh, so I do appreciate the usual likes and subscribes and all that jazz to help grow the channel, help bring more eyes to it, uh, especially to bring more eyes to Alchemy Trades. I'm really enjoying doing their videos and I'm looking forward to getting back to doing some more ongoing videos with actually showing the results of my bots and, and um, start giving some more uh, actual real life use cases of it and showing the the trades and showing the what I'm making on the trades and trying to create almost a, an ongoing dialogue of, of how things are going. So thanks again so much guys and have yourselves a wonderful day.